What's up, y'all? And you are keeping it juicy with the juice. What's up, juice fam? How y'all been? You know, we back. We ready. We ready to spill some oh, of this yeah. juice. You know, we sipping on it first, then we gonna spill some. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have a lot of topics to cover, so let's go ahead and hop in on topic number one. Hmm, I wonder how it can be. Rapper Kid Cudi comes uh. out on Saturday night. And where's a dress? Well, I'm not surprised. Another gay rapper. He is currently trending on social media after performing this past weekend on Saturday Night Live wearing a flowery dress. Well, did he have heels on too? <laughs> Many on social media are claiming that the rapper allegedly has just come out. Yep, you guessed it. Transgender. Allegedly my ass. Did he cut it off? I mean, he might as well if he's gonna wear a dress. Just cut the damn thing off and get it over with. Here are some pictures of Kid Cudi in his cute anyway. little Easter dress. He still got his chain on. Well, he's supposed to be a thug in a dress. Okay, Kid Cudi, we what see you. Shit we is see that? you. All you need to do is just a little twirl and you got it. I don't see that but shit. others claim that Kid Cudi wearing a dress was actually a nod to deceased yeah, rocker yeah, yeah. Kirk Cobain. Excuses, excuses. The rapper 37 rocked a maxi length spaghetti strap floral sundress while performing songs from his latest album on the NBC sketch show. Oh, he has exquisite taste. Kid Cudi pulling the ultimate Kurt Cobain tribute on SNL on the weekend of his death. According to one fan, at Kid Cudi, all about love and suicide prevention and awareness. But this isn't the first time Kid Cudi gives his fans a reason to question his gender identity or his sexuality. In 2014, he shocked the fans by wearing a crop top during his Coachella performance and in 2016 challenged the hip hop community to be more supportive of gay rights. In an interview, he said the hip hop community is the least outspoken about gay rights, and I'ma go out my way to change that. All right, Kid Cudi, you stand up for your rights. I mean, gay rights. Ooh, I caught that one. But on one note, I do love his passion behind it. I get it. But I just feel like he could have did something else to kind of represent and kind of bring awareness to the gay community. He did not have to come out in no flower dress. I'm just keeping it real. It's my opinion. So I'm kind of looking at you sideways a little bit, Kid Cudi. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think he's crossing over to the other side? Or do you think this was his passion that was just getting ahead of him? Let me know. He just fucked up. That's the real truth. Let me get a splash on that ass. He might like that. Now, who's next on the docket? Let's go. All right, moving on to hot topic number two. Rapper Black Rob speaks in saying that he's homeless and suffered four strokes. Uh, what? Is that really him? Like, whoa! Last week, news broke out that New York rap legend Black Rob was rushed to the hospital with respiratory problems. Legend? Didn't he only have one song? Black Rob was eventually released from the hospital, but now we're learning that the former bad boy artist is telling fans just how bad things are for him. I have a video which shows Black Rob explaining to his fans just how bad his health has gotten. The legend explains he's had four strokes in the past five years. And you guys, Black Rob is only 51. In the video, Black Rob says, I don't know. The pain is crazy, man. It's helping me out, though. It's making me realize I got a lot to let go. He also spoke about rapper DMX, who passed on April 9th. He said, I feel everything about X. X was positive. 
love to X. His former manager, DJ Self, then added, let's keep our prayers up for Black Rob. Get well, man. People out there, take care of yourself. Black Rob was one of the greatest. He had New York on his back like, whoa. And it's not just his health that's in bad shape, y'all. It's his finances as well. Black Rob signed with Bad Boy around 1996 and in 2000 released, as you all know, his biggest hit, Whoa. Don't you mean his only hit? But appears to be on hard times. In the same audio that you're going to hear, Black Rob can be heard saying that he doesn't have a house to even live in. Damn. According to Rob, y'all. How you feel about X? Like, whoa. Man, I feel, I feel everything about X, man. X, well love, man. Positive. X is big, big love. Big love to X, man. It's all, man. Alright. So, man, what's going on? I'm just, I don't know what the pain is. The pain, the pain is crazy, man. It's helping me out, though, man. It's making me realize I got a lot to, I got a lot to go, man. A lot to go on, man. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. That video is just sad to even watch. Is it me or have you all noticed a pattern where there's these rappers or these artists that come out with these one hits and you never hear from them again, wondering what happened to them. And next thing you know, you see them on drugs. They asking for money on the side of the road. They prostituting. I mean, what's really going on? Whatever happened to get your cake, stack up, you know, make more bread. But it has been confirmed that Black Rob has passed away just yesterday on Saturday, April 17th in an Atlanta hospital. DJ Self posted on Instagram saying, Lord knows I tried to get help. I'm sad to say rest in peace to Black Rob. It also has been rumored that P. Diddy even reached out to the rapper to make peace before his passing. Another R.I.P. All right, all right, let's get it. Hot topic number three. Rapper Big Boogie arrested for shooting rival in Mississippi. Who the hell is Big Boogie? Why they coming up with all these names? Top Louisiana rapper Big yeah. Boogie was among 24 people arrested for a shooting that occurred on a Mississippi highway this past Thursday afternoon. According to reports, one person was wounded after shots were allegedly fired from several vehicles on the interstate. Officers were able to stop some of the vehicles on Highway 6. Police told the media that four cars were impounded and a gun, drugs, and cash were taken. Police have not revealed what charges, if any, Big Boogie is facing. This is not the first time Big Boogie has been linked to any shooting case. Just nine months ago, two people were fatally shot at one of his concerts. Big Boogie, whose real name is John Lotz, is 24 years old and a rapper from Louisiana, but he's currently based in Memphis. He is popular, known for his songs, Mental Healing, Message to the Artist, Off the Porch, and more. Yeah. Oh, oh, make them hot. Oh, every time I drop a bank, I got them hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we got gloss too. Treat you like you got the flu. We bring you hot too. Yeah. Made it. Every day is payday. I got overseas pussy. Fuck her to the. I knew this shooting shit was gonna start becoming a trend on the highway. I mean, what happened to just. You know, scrapping just one-on-one -on -one. like the old days. Why are we shooting on the highway where innocent people can accidentally get hit? Like, again, the gun violence needs to stop. I feel like that's a coward move. Hopefully, this is not true and Big Boogie will be released and everything will be cleared. But, um, you know, condolences to everyone who was hurt, killed in any of these incidents. And here's hoping we can start spreading that positive energy. Mm -hmm. That's it. The juice is loose. You know, I'm tired of these rappers. They always want to shoot shit. They want to talk shit. What's but going they on? Shit. And you know what? I can shoot shit too. I can really fuck shit up. I'm getting aggravated. Juice, are you okay? It's time. Time it's for what? Fucking time. Time for what, Juice? You know what? It's time. It's time. I'm trying to figure out what. <laughs> Mm, I don't think that's a good idea, but okay. Get over. It's the juice, bitch. But I ain't nothing 
something sweet. I'm like a fat ass not now when you're just trying to sleep. I told a story to tip me off for some rockin' trips. Cause I ain't supposed to let loose with the whole fucking clip. I thought I'm from the mind, a maniac to be exact. Missing the fish rules, but still managed to stay intact. Don't give a fuck about your opinions, I'm stating facts. What are the thought of your ass up with the lows or the rope that cut the slap? To get close enough to slice throats, I'd like to see you do. Who said that this was a polite show? I'm not the man. I'm looking through the microscope, don't know this mic, bro. I'm not the man. I'm at the studio, I need a mic, bro. I'm sad and niggas are sick of the water, but I'm gonna hurt us, and I'm gonna run it on me, niggas started because I'm retarded. I cooked it in the dark, and I cooked it in the party. I mean, it's a really big thing to lose. Dripping on these bitches, spilling juice. The fellas is ever this, and even proof. No way to have it, just a song of loose. If you got beef, then you can come and see me because I'm a beast. Real life in 3D, consider the peace, please. Better believe me, cause every Think it where they see more TV Go no. upside your head with Mr. Squeezy To mop the shit up, it's not gonna be easy If that ain't enough, the niggas think they tough I'm gonna call out the bluff and fuck them up completely Going into the heart like Henny, Mr. Hypnotic Don't try to stop it cause I ain't really logic The shit that I spit out, you can't duck or dodge Just take fuck out the way if you ain't really bout it Ain't really bout it What's up with you, Juice? Why are you so hostile? You got all this hostility. Well, I gotta get some shit off my chest. I'm fed up with all these rappers. Yeah, it's time for me to clean up this mess because this juice is really out of control. What? All right, hot topic number four. This is a sensitive one, y'all. DMX passes away. Family pulled the plug nearly a week after a heart attack. DMX's family has finally decided to send the popular rapper home. We have learned that they decided to pull the plug on the rapper last week. DMX has been in the ICU since the last two weeks prior to pulling the plug after suffering a massive heart attack where he remained in a vegetable state. The decision to pull the plug, we're told, was made as a family and was made over the past few days as DMX failed to show signs of brain activity. Over the past few days, however, he was visited by his loved ones, which included his fiance, his ex-wife, and children, as they and others prayed for his recovery. The family released an official statement on his passing day, saying, May Earl Simmons rest in peace. Also, they say, We are deeply saddened to announce today that our loved one, DMX, birth name of Earl Simmons, passed away at 50 years old at White Plains Hospital with his family by his side after being placed on life support for the past few days. Earl was a warrior who fought to the end. The statement continues, He loved his family with all of his heart and we cherish the times we spent with him. Earl's music inspired countless fans across the world and his iconic legacy will live on. We appreciate all the love and support during this incredibly difficult time. Please respect our privacy as we grieve the loss of our brother, father, uncle, and the man the world knew as DMX. We will share information about his memorial service once details are finalized. He sure did make sure to leave plenty of seeds before he left. The rap legend had a tattoo on his neck of Exodus 1 and 7 saying, Be fruitful and multiply and your children will inherit the world. DMX is believed to have fathered at least 17 children. The rapper publicly only acknowledged, though, 15 of them. The last two are twin boys that are one years old and were birthed by a Philadelphia woman whom many online are labeling his side chick. DMX was married to his ex-wife, Teresha Simmons, for 14 years, and they shared four beautiful children. The other 13 children are from 10 different relationships throughout his life. It has been rumored that DMX passed away from getting the COVID-19 vaccination and not a drug overdose. According to a family member, DMX got the vaccine when they opened it up for people over 50, so that way he can get ready to travel and start back performing. The family member also said, everyone keeps saying that DMX had a drug overdose. How do they know? I'm in a family and no doctor told me anything about an overdose. 
I just think we'll never know what really happened. Rest up, DMX. See you at the crossroads. So you won't be lonely. See you at the crossroads. So you won't be lonely. See you at the crossroads. So you won't be lonely. See you at the crossroads. So you won't be lonely. And I'm gonna miss everybody. All right, hot topic number five, popular rapper's gorgeous fiance commits suicide. The girlfriend to one of the most popular rappers in the world is believed to have committed suicide, according to online reports, a.k.a. a South African hip hop superstar with multiple platinum albums confirmed that his fiance fell from a window in a high rise building. His gorgeous fiance, Annalie Timby. She was 22 years old, was pronounced dead on the scene, according to reports. The Timbys and AKA's family, in a joint statement, confirmed Timbys' untimely passing, calling her a beloved fiancé, daughter, sister, and daughter-in-law. We are still in shock and are dealing with our emotions as she was an exceptional and gifted young woman with so much life ahead of her. She had a sweet nature about her and was always nurturing to those around her. Her fiance, Karen and Forbes, is currently inconsolable and is surrounded by family and closest friends. At this hour of our grief, we humbly request that our family be given privacy and time to heal. According to the local reports, Nelly fell out of a window at the Pepper Club Hotel early that morning. The police were called to the scene, but they would not confirm that AKA was a guest at the hotel out of respect for their privacy. Some people snapped pictures of the alleged scene of Nelly's death. AKA is one of the most popular South African rappers ever. Born and raised in Cape Town, Western Cape, Forbes gained significance after releasing his single Victory Lap, which was released from his debut album, Alter Ego, in 2011. AKA continued his success by releasing studio albums, which includes Level, which was produced in 2014, Touch My Blood in 2018, and the collaborative album, Be Careful What You Wish For, alongside Anati in 2017. In April of 2018, AKA alongside Vodka Brand Cruise, launched a watermelon flavored drink with his initials on the bottles. Mm, I did not know he produced that watermelon is my favorite. Okay, that same month, AKA was featured as a special guest on WWE Live events, which was held in Johannesburg and Cape Town. As for 2019, he was the roastee for the Comedy Central roast special. This is just a sad situation. She was 22 years old, a fiance to a, a platinum artist. And to fall out, allegedly fall out of a high rise building is very, very sad. I do feel like the police is probably going to look more into this and find more information because it does seem kind of sketchy to just fall out of a window. But um, rest in peace to her and to the family. We definitely give our condolences and we will follow up more on this story. All right, Juice fam. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video and comment below. Do you think Kid Cudi is crossing over to the other side or was he giving a tribute? Rest in peace to Black Rob and prayers up for his family. What about Big Boogie? Do you think he's innocent or was he involved in that shooting? Also, rest in peace to DMX and prayers sent out to his family. And let's keep his music alive because we all know he was a rap legend. And as far as the popular rapper, AKA's fiance, rest in peace to her. And we will keep you guys posted on this story. Make sure you guys also hit that bell so when we drop the next video, you will be the first one to be notified. And make sure you subscribe. Until next time with Keeping It Juicy with the Juice. Keeping it juicy with the juice. Bringing hot topics straight to you. Proofily telling the truth. Pull up receipts to show you the proof. Subscribe to watch it now. Or later, cause in no telling what you might take. Yeah, as you dripping all kind of purpose, so take your picture of a one you're Keep it juicy.